last year, about a year ago, May 18th, I uh, emphasized that BLM, which emerged after the George Floyd killing, was total fraud. Go. Black Lives Matter. Oh, oh, oh. this is the biggest con I think I've ever seen in my career. So they raised $90 million in the wake of the George Floyd killing. Black Lives Matter Global Foundation. Finally had to file a tax return for 2020. Ready? This was the former president of the Black Lives Matter Global Foundation, Patrice Cullors. Put her picture up there. She paid almost a million dollars to a man named Damon Turner out of BLM funds, donated funds, for, quote, live production design and media. There's Damon. I bet Damon bought that hat with the money he got paid from Black Lives Matter. So who's Damon? He is the father of Colors' young son. Okay, so a year later, BLM had to issue another tax return. Here it is, quote. This is from the, uh, ta- this is from the IRS. Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation ran an $8.5 million deficit, saw the value of its investment accounts plummet by nearly $10 million, In the most recent tax year, financial disclosures show the group logged a $961,000 loss on a security sale of $172,000, suggesting the charity weathered a staggering 85% loss on that single transaction. So the uh, BLM people are hemorrhaging money, $8.5 million in a hole, And all the 90 million that was donated to them is gone. You've seen any significant improvement that the Black Lives Matter did for anybody? Anybody. Bill at BillOReilly.com. If you know it, you've seen it, I want to know. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.